Hey Tibor, and the people on the Timing Solution Group, for anyone who's interested. Um, it's a quick follow-up, I hope, <laughs> to Tibor's question and observations about uh, the ongoing saga of the Bitcoin um, projection line and the annual cycle. So um, here we have, once again, I've loaded the same data which actually is the daily data for Bitcoin through, I think, the end of 2022. So I've set the LBC back here to uh, the beginning of 2021 and just brought in the annual cycle. And um, one of the big questions is, how do we know there's going to be an inversion? Or when do we know to invert the cycle? And basically, it's really kind of simple. If you take the last swing, which would be here to here, and see which way price headed has been heading, uh, notice that price is continuing up, but this is swinging clearly down. So why don't we invert it to match that? It's, it's like, duh, stupid, hit your head on, hit yourself on the side of the head. Um, but in looking at this over and over against all time frames and in more subtle uh, smooth orbs down to 5%, it seems to be consistently the best way I've found so far to choose normal or inverted. Um, so uh, that's like one of the big, big uh, obstacles. Uh, as Sergey has mentioned numerous times, the annual cycle is one of the very best cycles for daily data. And <clears throat> my little method of using Q Spectrum 2 to try to fine tune a better harmonic uh, seems to help a little bit. Um, but you know, you have to be the judge of that by back testing. So, um, so here we did the reversal. I've got this on inversion. It's the first harmonic. It's 365.26 days is the length of this cycle. And 100% and everything else is sort of default. Okay. Um, and as you know with the astronomy composite, price action in front of the LBC is invisible. So if I click this button here, I can reveal what's going on, and it's really pretty good. Um, can it be better? So that's the question with my little tweak. Um, so we have it up, up spell. I continued up as this was heading down, um, but I'm going to stick with the cycle for now, and it, it tracks price pretty well for nine months in this case. Um, so. Here's the, the story that I was talking about. Running Q Spectrum 2 at an RPO of 2, out to 500 days, um, I found this large trough here, very prominent cycle uh, at 431. Uh, and running at this time, it's 431.98. It's close enough. And so take don't need a spreadsheet to do this. Just divide 365.26 by that number, 431.7, and this is the result. Take that and plug it into the manual box here. Right? Um, the, these smooth orbs here and geo longitude here, um, I tweak in order to get the kind of smooth curve that I want. Sometimes I may want more bumps in here, sometimes less. Uh, so anyway, let's stick this over to manual now and take a look at the curve. So it brought us out an extra month of up action. And as I mentioned in the other video, it, uh, notice that as price started upward here, it may be time to reconsider this. Um, so uh, to do that, I'm going to just set the LBC up a little bit more and rerun the calculation. 
and finding this big trough again at 462. Plug that in here. That's 462.03. And then here's the harmonic factor. Copy that. Bring it over into here and plug it in. Um, because this is invisible, I'm going to turn that off so I don't see what's going on. Um, here's a case where the line is tracking downward and the curve is tracking downward and what I like to do next is just check at a very uh, reduced and zoom in here just to see what's going on. Looks good. This is where my whole theory is going to blow apart. You watch. But uh, so zoom out. Put this back up. And let's reveal what the price is doing. And sure enough, theory blew apart. <laughs> All right. Actually, I shouldn't be so hard on myself and taking one more look at it. Theory does hold uh, because here's the swing low, uh, June 22nd. Okay, again, this is daily data. And as we go to the end of this data series, notice that uh, even though price is trending down here, it's still overall higher than the, the low over here on the 22nd. So we're going to keep, uh, we're going to reverse that, that line again and bring it back to normal. And let's zoom out. Bingo. It caught that high perfectly. Okay. And then down from there. And it looks, again, at this point, I would recalculate if I were going forward with that. Um, so, um, sun and annual cycle isn't the only uh, astro combination, of course. Um, I've talked about other, other very strong possibilities, and many, many different combinations will work here. Um, sort of eyeball the chart, keep close track of what the swings are doing, um, and it's largely going to keep you out of trouble. So, um, any questions? Let me let me uh, please post them to the forum. Take care, everybody.